Well, let's return now to uh, that announcement within the last few minutes that the former Chancellor, Sajid Javid, has said that he will not stand at the next general election. Let's uh, bring in Amanda Akas, uh, who is in Westminster for us. Um, morning, Amanda. And there's been a trickle, haven't there, of MPs saying that they don't intend to stand again at the next general election. This is probably the highest profile. Yes, absolutely. I mean, Sajid Javid has been an extremely high profile politician um, within the Conservative Party. He was Home Secretary, Chancellor, Health Secretary, um, and he himself has stood for leader of the party um, on two occasions, neither of them successful. The first time against Boris Johnson, in which he came fourth, and Boris Johnson then appointed him as Chancellor, um, but he ended up resigning over a row um, over his advisers with Dominic Cummings and Boris Boris Johnson. Um, later, he was then reappointed Health Secretary, and it was his decision to resign from Boris Johnson's government last summer, um, along with, on the same day, Rishi Sunak, following the scandals over Partygate um, and the rows, um, uh, the various scandals that affected Boris Johnson's administration that really precipitated his downfall. Um, then Sajid Javid himself was going to stand again to be leader of the party um, this summer, uh, but he ended up uh, withdrawing from the contest um, before um, he had actually been nominated. He then supported Liz Truss. Um, obviously, we all know what happened to her. He then has switched his allegiance to Rishi Sunak and did back him as leader. Um, but I think that kind of fairly uh, bumpy um, career history that I've just outlined perhaps suggests why he's decided uh, that now is the time for him to stand down. Although I think um, compared to the other MPs who've made that decision, um, he's not someone who um, represents a marginal constituency. See Bromsgrove near Birmingham. Um, he has a majority of 23,000. So even if there's a massive swing uh, towards Labour, if the polls are to be believed at the next general election, then he's not someone who's likely to face the humiliation of leaving, uh, of losing his seat. Um, in his letter itself, he, he says it's a decision that he's wrestled with for some time, uh, but ultimately concluded not to stand again, because Conservative MPs have been told they've got to make a decision about whether or not they're going to stand by the 5th of December. Um, he says he's very proud of what he's achieved, um, and uh, being the local MP and serving in government has been the privilege of my life. I'm immensely grateful for the opportunity to serve. I always sought to make decisions in the national interest and in line with my values, and I can only hope my best was sufficient. Now, he says he'll continue to support his friend, the Prime Minister, um, and the people of his constituency in any way he can. Um, having said that, um, there's no um, criticism of the Prime Minister, um, of the decisions made by him and the Chancellor in the autumn statement um, to raise taxes and make those spending cuts, which have been controversial with Tory MPs. But I think this is yet another blow uh, for the Prime Minister on a day in which he's just seen uh, the loss uh, of, an, of a by-election as well.